Good morning from sunny Plettenberg Bay. We have this beautiful 182 that we're flying around the area and yesterday we picked her up at Stanley's Island, flew her to Plett for uh, some refueling and some touch and goes, and now we're actually heading eastwards towards Paradise Beach. That's near Jeffreys Bay, which is a surfer's Valhalla where we'll go for some breakfast and some swimming. For the rest, we got fuel, we got our bathing suits and uh, we're all hungry. So I have this old beaten up map of South Africa with all the airstrips in the country. We're here, Plattenberg Bay, and as we fly eastwards, we enter the Eastern Cape province. And right over there, that's where Paradise Beach is. It's uh, west of Port Elizabeth Airport. This is bringing back sweet memories of uh, St. Martin with the 206 cover that was always so much effort to take on and off, but it's, it's a lot better for the plane. So we had a little bit of rain last night. You can see, still see that the plane is a bit damp here and there. Now, the Cessna 182 is a bit notorious for leaking fuel caps. And so what you need to do after you had some rain, you need to, uh, to rock the wings to make sure that if there's any f uh, water leaked into the, uh, into the tanks, that the water uh, will be, uh, by rocking it, be transported to the lowest point. So with the fuel strainer, we can strain it out. And I'm not saying that there is water in there, but better to be safe than sorry. And that's why we rock it a bit, and that's, this should be enough now. Strain, strain the fuel and see if there's any drops of water in there. So my mom always uh, knows how to do these things and pack everything up in the plane. Years of experience flying uh, with my dad in the 182, then you definitely know how to pack this workhorse up. No, no signs of fuel. Uh, no, so. <laughs> no signs of fuel. <laughs> And what you can see is that the water is always the heaviest part, so if there's any water in there, it should be in the bottom. Uh, it could be all water, but uh, the thing with uh, F-gas is that it's uh, blue. So if you see a blue color and you smell, then sure that it's F-gas, no water in here. Plenty of traffic, so we'll share a Papa Julia Bravo radio check. On corner, I need you five. Radio struck five as well, thank you. Quickly, I'm gonna put on my sunglasses. People might wonder why I always change the glasses on the ground in my flying ones, but I use flying eyes for flying, and I'm very careful with them because I um, I really love using them. As you can see, the uh, the little feet are incredibly thin and I can just pop them right under my headset and it won't affect my uh, my active noise cancelling. So I got these on. Plattenberg Bay traffic, Papa Julie Bravo entering backtrack runway 30. And there's a run-up area at the beginning of the, uh, the runway. Next to Fuller Rich and then 1,700 RPM. Mag check. Drop is within limits. Okay. All temperatures in the green. All pressure is good. Center temperature is really good as well. Everybody comfortable in the back? All right. Seatbelts are fastened. Doors locked and latched. Closed. Everybody ready? Yeah. No other traffic. Landing lights on. Plutterberg Bay traffic. Papa Julia Bravo lining up runway 30. Temperature pressures are in the green. Airspeed rising. Gonna keep the nose up a little. 60 rotates. Okay, bring the power back to top of green. Plenary wind traffic, Papa Julia Bravo just airborne right 3 0, routing eastwards, climbing 1,500 feet. Alright, so we just left the George, um, the George East Special Rules area, and now we have to go from 124.8 to Cape Town Information, 127.575.
Nou, er zit er eentje achter mij. Oh. <laughs> Pop, nee hoor, meestal zegt ze, er zit er eentje naast me. <laughs> maar dat is als jij naast me zit, Max. Ja. <laughs> Special rules area, Papa Juliet Bravo is 15 miles west of Paradise Beach, routing inbound 1,500 feet. Hello? Uh, uh, we are all two minutes uh, to the airstrip. Sorry, I'm in the plane, but uh, we're there in two minutes. Okay, I'm so sorry for the delay. Okay, bye-bye. Paradise Beach traffic, Papa Julie Bravo approaching from the northern side, joining on a right downwind runway 26. Paradise Beach traffic, Papa Julie Bravo joining final runway 26. So the taxi's here, we're gonna head to Jeffrey's Bay to uh, a breakfast spot, maybe go for a swim, I'm not completely sure because we are in a bit of a time crunch, um, but it's so fun to go on these kind of breakfast outings. Did you like the flight? It was amazing. So beautiful along the coast, nice and low. And uh, and seeing that it was so cool, you had on the right the sea, and then below you had the cliffs and the waves crashing. And then above that you had like fields and plantations and farms. And then behind that you had the hills and the mountains. So, so many different types of scenery and all to be viewed. It was really cool. And the way back? And the way back? Well, we haven't been on the way back yet. <laughs> but uh, the way back's we're gonna go up high this time, right? And then go over the mountains and have a totally different view than on the way there. So it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> We're gonna take the taxi back to the airplane and uh, head back through the mountains, I think, because we're in a time crunch. So let's go. So mom's sitting in the front for the way back. Yes. And the seat is all the way up so she can at least see something. And the smurf songs. <laughs> yeah, now I can see properly. Woohoo! Paradise Beach traffic, Papa Julia Bravo lining up runway 26 to party. Temperatures of 
pressures are in the green. Climb out at 80 miles an hour. And I'm going to bring the power back to top of green. If we keep climbing to six and a half thousand feet, it'll also be less bumpy. That'll be very nice. Cape Town information, good afternoon. Zulu Sheriff, Papa Julia, bravo. Papa Julia, Zulu Sheriff, Papa Julia, bravo. Cape Town information, go ahead. Papa Julia, bravo is airborne from uh, Paradise Beach. Currently 6,000 feet, climbing 6,500. We're about five nautical miles southwest of Kreisfontein. Routing Thunder McBay. Uh, Papa Chile Bravo, Cock 0520. Uh, just again, you'll request. Squawk 0520, uh, request to climb uh, 6,500 feet. Papa Chile Bravo. Papa Juliet Bravo, no reported traffic for the time to flight level 65, report 34 descent. No reported traffic, uh, cleared to climb flight level 65, and we'll report ready for the descent. Papa Juliet Bravo. Mom has control. You feel how stable it is? Yeah. Woo! So constant. Mom, I think you should get your, your pilot license as well. I think you'd be very good at it. <laughs> Cape Town information, Papa Julia Bravo, 20 miles east of Plenary Bay, request descent. Papa Julia Bravo, no reported traffic for the descent. The closest QNH is George 1015. Roger, QNH 1015, cleared for the descent. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to bring the power back a little. Cape Town information, Papa Julia Bravo, passing through 3,500 feet of beam, Stanley's Island. Papa Julia Bravo, you can broadcast 124, this more 8. Switching to 124, this way. Have a lovely day, Papa Julia Bravo. Awesome. So you could just fly straight overhead, then we'll see where the wind is coming from. And then I'll take over for the circuit. Would it be all dry or solid? My control? Okay, well, classic plets. There's a crosswind uh, from the seaside. Plenum Bay traffic. Pop Julie Bravo's in a left crosswind runway 30. Plenary Bay traffic, Papa Julie Bravo, turning final race 3 0. You see the wood moves all the time, eh? The wind stop that's crazy. Papa Julia Bravo, runway vacated. How's your side? Yeah, I have them here rechts meer than shot around Toros. Also with the wheel? Yeah, yeah, yeah you have two meters of two and a half. Yeah, stop. Yeah, perfect. 1,000 RPM. Cameras on. So this is the first time ever that I've been flown by both of my girls. It was really exciting that uh, 
else took control and uh, she flew like a pro. Of course. Thank you for flying, mom. Oh, it was brilliant. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, this was a great trip again. Uh, Jeffrey's Bay, really nice town where we went to. Beautiful flight along the coast, flown at uh, flight level 65 above cloud. It was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I loved it. And I was so privileged because I was allowed to fly back. <laughs> and uh, actually till approach of uh, uh, Plattenberg Bay. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Lovely. Great. And she flew like a pro, of course. You really <laughs> did. Thank you. But that was really cool. If you enjoyed this flight, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, catch us on the next flight. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.